welcome back to the show. You are watching Roba Eve, and right now we're, uh, we're about to talk to you about something very important, and this is the Fave National Literary Awards, also known as the FNLA. And to talk about the Fave National uh, Literary Awards, we have with us the Deputy Chairman of Fave Holdings, Mr. Kavin the Dias Abe Singha. Ibon, welcome I to the show. You. Good to have you on the show. Uh, that being said, Mr. Kavinda, uh, now let's talk about Fairway National Literary Awards. This is being done by Fairway Holdings. So let's start with what Fairway Holdings is right. as an entity, as a company. Thank you. First of all, uh, Sasha and Prabhat, uh, I must thank TV, I, TV One for, on behalf of Fairway Holdings for giving us this opportunity to tell you something about the FNLA. Um, Fairway Holdings, you may have heard, or is known for developing apartments, luxury apartments. And uh, this is we've started. We were we've been around for about 12 years, and now we've gone into different areas. We've gone into aviation, trading, financial services, leisure, and most recently into waste management. So uh, it's now from a apartment developer we have become we are going becoming a conglomerate or we are in fact we are already a con conglomerate. We're expanding. Yes. So that's that's Fairway Holdings and uh, that's that's in answer that's to your a, question. That's a description about Fairway Holdings for you. But we're talking about Fairway National Literary Awards yes. 2017 and it says that it's been happening for two years and this is the third, third consecutive year. year. Yes. So we've got a lot of history. Let's talk about the inception yes. and the let me so let me far. explain how it how it came to be. Um, in 2015, mm -hmm. uh, Fairway Holdings became the title sponsor of the Fairway Gaul Literary Festival, okay. which is a, a, the, a literary festival which has been around for about nine years. It's world famous, well, no. very famous authors come. So Fairway assumed uh, the role of title sponsor in 2015. Mm -hmm. At that point, our chairman, Mr. Hemakadi Alvis, conceived the idea of having uh, this Fairway National Literary Awards as a companion piece to the Fairway uh, Gaul Literary Gaul Festival. Literary Festival. Uh, the idea was to encourage and promote good creative writing among Sri Lankans. Mm. So uh, the we thought the best way to do that would be to have a competition for no best novel published the previous year and we wanted to make it open to all Sri Lankans so from the inception it has been in all three languages Sinhala, Tamil and English and all three languages are accorded equal status entries are received as a judging panel and then the prize money is also equal for all three, all three language languages. categories, yes. I think that must be one of the main reasons uh, that differentiates the FNLA from other literary awards or festivals as well, because you see that slight sort of uh, change when it comes to language, when it comes to authors, yes. when it comes to subjects, but the FNLA doesn't discriminate like that. You are, you are quite correct. There are, there are, there are language-specific prizes for novel uh, in uh, other competitions, but uh, I think other than the state literary awards, we are the only ones which only literary competition which gives it for all three languages. Now, since the inception itself, now uh, this must have been some sort of a risk. I mean, it's it's a new concept, as in for Fairway Holdings to incept something like this. Yeah. Uh, how was the reception? How was the how, how did the journey start? Whenever it started, yeah. how was the reception of uh, all these? I'm, I'm, I must say it has been very very positive because people are. They, they, they start to wonder why a company which is so into business mm -hmm. is is you know doing something for the arts yeah. and and really it's a question we we, are, we have to answer and the answer is this um, we think that arts and culture mm -hmm. are very important for a country and as a good corporate citizen we feel we have a social responsibility to promote arts and culture it's simply that we don't get really get anything out we don't get any financial benefit out of it but we want to promote arts and culture to this end it's not only the FNLA uh, and the FGLF but we also uh, sponsor the Colombo Chamber Music Society 
and also soul sounds. Ah. Chen Music Sound is a very leading classical orchestra, and soul sounds, as you know, is a all woman award winning all woman yeah. choir. So uh, this is we feel very satisfied by this, and uh, the overall reception has been very positive to all these efforts Sana, that we have done. That's so Farewell amazing. Holdings is uh, encouraging and supporting all types of art forms, local art forms here in the country, which is That's brilliant. Adhavi Katakran ne Farewell National Literary Awards Pili Bandhava hit up, hit up. खबद <laughs> उटलोला <laughs> This is happening tomorrow. This yes. is the shortlist unveiling ceremony. Yes, uh, the entries for entries for this year's competition closed towards the end of July, July 25th, and the judges have been busy reviewing all the entries. And tomorrow, the three panels of judges, English, Sinhala, and Tamil, will each give a shortlist of up to five novels. Okay. They think those are the best. Uh, so that ceremony will be tomorrow. and um, it's eagerly awaited it's now become a event in the literary calendar mm -hmm. then from tomorrow uh, in in january next the winner in each language category will be announced that's in january in january mm -hmm. at and that takes place that uh, final ceremony uh, final ceremony takes place at the fairway gol literary festival as one of the events in that oh brilliant so, so it's sort of coming together with exactly. the fgl exactly it all comes together at the fgl i oh, will have international recognition as well that's yes that. we, we there are two things i must mention yeah one is the timing you know now we time the short list to happen towards the announcement towards the end of august mm -hmm. the reason is the book fair is in middle of september mm. so the short listed authors they get they'll get some recognition they they can put a sticker on their book saying this is uh, they're shortlisted by the fnla and then that would boost their sales at the book fair then the other aspect is that we want we announce the winner at the fglf because then there is a kind of an international audience for these local writers i mean those who have won they have a chance of interacting with the uh, people who come to for the fairway gold literary festival international so, recognition that's just, that's amazing that's why it's just like meryl streep is an oscar nominated or rather oscar winning actress your book could be an fnla uh, recognized yes, novel. shortlisted shortlisted novel, novel. yes yes uh, i could be the winner in january is, that's yeah. brilliant my question is uh, the the books that were um, sort of put into this competition this time this year yes. did they have to be published in the year 2016 yes, uh, yeah we have the part of the rules are that the book has to be first published in sri lanka and it also has to have an isdn number yeah now the books have to be published between june 1st and may 31st may 31st 2017 june 1st 2016 to may 30 so that so in that in year. that year yeah. so next year's competition will be for books published from june 1st 2017 to may 31st 2018 Uh, those are the rules and regulations so here we go now whenever you do a competition whenever you do something there are always challenges there are always hurdles that you need to jump off right. and doing this for the third or oh, this is third, third consecutive year, third, time third consecutive so year. definitely must have had a lot of challenges but still the challenges keep on coming so let's name a few when when yes. it comes to a uh, festival as such or award ceremony as such yeah. to be honest the the fnla doesn't pose 
that many problems for, for the for the reason that everyone is very happy mm. with the idea of participating and but uh, we have we face a, a slight challenge like this sometimes there are authors who they, they, they do self publications yeah. that is they don't go to the big publishing houses they publish it themselves yeah. now some of them especially in the singular tamil and tamil categories sometimes they to reach them you, i mean even though it's in, we advertise in the national newspapers and uh, various other places, it doesn't reach them so then we have to sort of search these out yeah. so that is you uh, want to get as much participation as possible that's one thing second thing is everybody expects very fair and transparent judging so we pay special attention to this process and what we do is we we ask we ask people to nominate names as judges but the criteria each panel there are three judges so what we are looking for the first it should be an academic mm-hmm. someone a university professor or a lecturer so the second person should be a creative person and we and we and we think it shouldn't preferably not a novelist yeah. a poet a playwright you know someone like that a film director film even? director script writer one l- last year we had uh, dr dharmasena pati raja for the singular panel oh, right. so uh, th- that should be a creative person third person should be what we called an informed reader that is a person who may be not qualified but who loves reading and knows about men and matters we don't stop there mm-hmm. we also look at the gender balance mm-hmm. so if there are two ladies on the panel then the third member must be a male similarly we look for an age balance if there are two young people then the third person should be old so in that we try to get a you know a, a, a picture where all all uh, all groups are groups represented are represented yes and 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 then also the reputation of the judges themselves so far touchwood we haven't had any controversies people have been very happy with the judgments there's never been any issues so but that process of selecting the judges is it's been a challenge it's but been it's been done professionally handled professionally we are very careful Perfectly. about it yeah that's amazing uh now talking about all of this now what what came into my mind was that uh, there might be a lot of creative people but you said some do self publishing mm-hmm. and uh, you might be very creative but you might not know the process from exactly. you know from the start and how how can i get it published exactly what are the basics what i should do right yeah. so uh, we heard that there's something yes, really yes. Well, well, good we, we have, we have, uh, as another initiative yeah. by fave holdings last october we had a, a creative writing workshop and we partic- we are particularly interested in young people uh, and their creative efforts so this was designed for young people age 16 to 35 if you are under 18 you have to get a letter of permission from your parents to come if you are under 18 okay yeah, because we, we we wanted to still keep to the law we you must verify from your wife or your spouse <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> so um, now there again it was an unprecedented uh, response we a uh, very unfortunately we had to refuse a few people but we had 125 participants mm-hmm. and uh, we uh, it we had it over two days um it the the format was like we had a resource person talking for about 1 hour and then for about half an hour of questions so we had about i think seven or eight resource people talking on writing what is good writing writing a novel writing short stories writing plays how to edit your creative work and finally how to get published uh, in regard to get how to get published we were very happy that uh, mr vijay apa accepted the invitation and he came and talked about how to get published so the idea was any aspiring author i mean here it is uh, in a in a nutshell or in, you know he gets an overview of what he, ne- he or she needs to do in order to get his book published and uh, we it was as i said a very good response and we are definitely going to have it again this year that's having that information given to you especially when you're a budding author i think yes. is probably the first step 
to actually getting your book published. Exactly. And that's an initiative taken by uh, Fairway Holdings. Apni katakrame Fairway National Literary Awards pili bandava. E vitarak ne mai thavse di kavin the dais mahatme apni kiwa pahogiya aurde dit Fairway Holdings aluten nagi e na aluten e na lekha lekha van venuen ma creative writing workshop pe kakara me workshop pe kedi mai thani thamat ma honda responsor ak labela the ba kohomad thamange creative writing karane editing karane publish karagane kohomad thamang liya pu photak me pili bandava vadi visar ilang aurde dit me wage ma workshop pe karanna palapa kela kela it's going to it's going to happen this year ala pradhana washem ma the mata wage mama liyuma sign karagannu one ape amma gen hari tata gen hari 18 15 hinda today we're talking about fairway national literary awards uh, we did mention that uh, we you try your very best to make sure that the judging is done very fairly and very professionally and that you take a lot of care about the judging process um when it comes to categories you're picking uh, five uh, authors from uh, three languages yeah. but what are the criteria that the judges are judging these books based on is it writing is it originality um i i, I may make a clarification um it's it's up to five up to 5 novels in each language category in each language category so you can have 5 uh, in singular 5 in english 5 yeah. in 5 in tamil we leave the 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 process the 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 selection process entirely to the judges okay we don't we don't give them any guidelines okay, yeah, because we feel they are mature and sensible enough to uh, make an objective assessment uh, so we don't and we don't talk actually we don't even talk to them from the day that they are appointed right up to the day they give the short list you know we we leave them alone we give them all the support and the infrastructure and facilities and we also make it a point that if there is any uh, clarification say i mean if there's an issue about say the eligibility of a particular novel now for example um, somebody might publish a novel online but then you know then put it into print so now if the online comes first is that the first publication or is it the print which is the first publication mm -hmm. the, even that question will be left entirely to the judges so they decide and uh, so they they have they i mean they are mature and respected distinguished people we leave it totally to them to decide and i think uh, there's uh, as i said touchwood there's never been any controversies they've uh, no no disputes mm -hmm. the judges decisions have always been welcomed and uh, appreciated by the the uh, lovers of literature in the country so uh, wow. that's amazing so if you're a budding author uh, fingers crossed uh, tomorrow will be the unveiling ceremony now let's talk more about it uh, yes. uh, what's going to happen tomorrow let's right. uh, let's from the beginning okay. itself uh, well tomorrow the there'll be a, the sh the short lists will be announced mm -hmm. the there'll be a spokesperson for each of the three judging panels okay uh, they'll be on stage then they will explain uh the process that they went through okay. in reviewing the that particular language book, books of that particular language and then they'll show they, they they'll they'll talk something about that this year's entries mm. the types of in, uh, types of entries they had you see we don't we don't there's no restriction on the genre you can write a novel on anything at all there's no there's no restriction on the subject mm -hmm. so is up anyone can use their imagination and you know they just do what what spontaneously what comes, comes out that. what spontaneously comes out so um, so the judges explain that in that well in this year what they what they observed of the quality of the writing you know what what sort of subjects seem to interest people they, this is what has happened in the last two years yeah. and then they'll you know come they'll they'll announce they'll, they'll announce this is the even we don't know they'll announce it on the stage and at that point they'll hand over the shortlisted five novels and we'll uh, somebody from uh, will put it on to a, a table and it will be displayed mm -hmm. and then of course there's a press and they come and you know photograph it and yeah. uh, that's when it's unveiled yes and it's a boost to the authors you know i mean that means they they have been recognized that they have uh, they've made it to that 
that that extent it's a great opportunity and a great moment so thank you very much mr Karvin the dais abe singha deputy chairman of fairway holdings thank you so much and it's something really good and we hope to see this you know going on for years and years and uh, thank you very much for coming here thank today. you very much for having me i really appreciate it and and thank you very much thank both you of so you much. most welcome we were talking about the fairway national literary award